Hey, Shalom, Shalom. It's Officer with Thousand Kazaka Maj of the Israelite School, University of Practical Knowledge, out here in Washington, D.C. And we just want to show y'all a little bit what's going on out here in D.C., right? So I'm going to turn this camera around real quick. They're not letting anybody get past. The White House is right down there. Come. Let me tell you these these um, white people out here protesting, it's not that they give a damn about that brother. Right. Their real issues with Trump. If they were happy with Trump, they would not be protesting. Right. This is their way to fight with Trump. That's right. You understand? Because they are unhappy with what the promises he made, he's not delivering, and they want him out. So right. they're using this as an excuse to fight and protest. So if you see white people out here, it's not because they, they love you. Right. They have their own agenda, and they're known for stealing, um, stealing our protests and pushing their own agenda. Right. And that's all this is. Right. Well put, sir. I-S-U-P-K. So I get you okay. Right? They didn't keep them together. They had to take the Jewish people out of that situation completely and let them reform themselves and let them grow in power and let them get strength. How would you do that in the United States separating white from black people? Say that? How would you do that in the United States separating black from black people? Well, it was, it was like that before. Before Martin Luther King, they were separate. Right. You had, you, you had segregation. You, know you had their school, you had our school. You know so we were completely separate before Former Martin Luther King started marching and asked for this. He is the reason for all of this. You know what I'm saying? Because when he brought the two together, it's like bringing two enemies together. At a distance, they can respect each other. They can do business. They don't have to see each other every day. You won't see them police your neighborhood. So you don't have to have somebody of another nation come into your neighborhood and kill you because he cannot relate to you. But who would live in which state? I mean, I, I, I can't imagine like telling people, okay, you're leaving Washington, you're going to stay in Meriden. Well, I'll give you an example. Um, what they call Black Wall Street or Tulsa, Oklahoma, just like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had our own city. We had our own banks. We had our own schools. Everything. So we had our own police officers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely is possible. I know it's, it's, people can't imagine it now because we've mixed so much. But the mixing has always only resulted in a wolf and sheep situation. 
you know, the wolf could love, say he loves you as much as he wants, but when he gets hungry, you know what I'm saying, he has to eat. And that's what's happening here as, uh, as we come together. And that's why our solution to the ISUPK under command Johanna, based on the scriptures, the Bible, by the way, is that we should be separate. Just let me get it uh, clear. You're, uh, the organization you're with is... is uh... ISUPK. Uh, what is that Israelite called? School of Universal Practical, Practical Knowledge. The ISUPK under Commander Jay Ahana. Commander Jay Ahana is our leader. That's right. Your, your name is? Please? My name is Officer Awarium. Officer of 1000 Awarium. This Officer Kazak Aymar and Officer Barak. How big is your organization, your group? How many members uh, would you have? Well, we, we, we are pretty, pretty decent size, yep. right? But um, more than members, we have loyalty. You know, that's we have right. love for each other. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, so it doesn't matter how big your members are. It depends on will you die for that brother. You know what I'm saying? And with these two brothers, I'll go to war from any time. You know what I'm saying? And here's the most important thing. I won't bring another nation in between us to join us. You know what I'm saying? Because we understand that we're not meant to be so close together. Now, it sounds crazy, but when, I'm going to give you an example. If white people live with white people, it'd be a different culture. Black people live with black people, it'd be a different culture. We could admire each other from a distance and do business, but one would never cross paths and then this happened. If that, if that, um, if, uh, if the brother who they just killed, George Floyd, yeah. if he was a white man, he would receive more mercy. You understand? He'd look, the person killing him would look at him and say, he was like, you're my brother. When you see a completely, a completely different person, then you don't have to have compassion because he doesn't remind you of anybody that's related to you. You understand? So, so, yeah. Point. So, All thank right. you very much. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Okay. So you're from where? Al Arabi TV. Okay. Okay. One second. I'm sorry. Not gonna hold it. No, no. Oh, put it here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna ask you about the uh, protest and uh, why you are here. Mm -hmm. Test audio? Test audio? Test, test, test. test. Okay, why are we here? So first of all, I am I am Officer Awarium, Officer of a Thousand in the Israelite School of Universal Special Knowledge uh, under Command of Jehana. Uh, we initially came out because we wanted to actually speak to the protesters. Um, and our goal was to find out at the end of it if you could if the government was to yield and bow and say, you know what, you guys are right, what do you want? You know, and I was curious to hear the answers of people, and I've gotten answers like, "Well, we want rep." You're gonna have because you have another people governing over you. Anytime another race of people governs over you, you're gonna have these situations. Whoever's in power will abuse their authority, and all we saw in that situation was just an abusive authority. If it was a, a man of his own race, he would not have done that. He would have had more compassion, and we see it all the time when you look at videos. And we see, I seen the video one time. The white man with a full out assault rifle on him and they talked him down because they had patience with him because why because they could relate to him but now when you're dealing with a whole different race you don't have to have patience dealing with another race is like dealing with an animal to, to them you understand they don't see you like that's why one brother said we just want to be treated as human beings right you hear that so often because black people feel like they're not treated as human beings here why because the person who's over you doesn't see you as a human being you understand? and that can't be fixed until you know there's a separation black people need to get re regained it like i understand there's a lot of different people protesting but this is going to be a fight that black people are going to have to fight alone it's hard to understand you're going to have to fight alone you're going to have to regain your humanity alone you could appreciate the other people's desire to help you but this is not something where you're going to because in their desire to help you they still have their own motive they still have their own agenda tied in so your 100 percent protest has now dropped to 80%. You know, by the time, let's say the LGBT comes in, it dropped another 20%, you know? So you're gonna have to end up focusing on things that, and before you know it, the signs come out, all lives matter. 
you know as if all lives are being killed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's dying, but you see the protest all lives matter because they want to care for you, but still care for their own. You right. Know I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this beat punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order